new comics and early free comic book day swag come kick it and find out more what is up all you beautiful legends i hope you guys are having a great week and happy wednesday i know it was supposed to be the next issue of story time with Durs featuring geiger but I had a package come from ABX the other day, and I really, really couldn't wait to open it. It's got my new comics in it, and I need to keep reading those books. So it's going to be tomorrow. So as you saw in the intro, I am wearing the free Comic Book Day shirt from May 4th, 2024. And uh, you're going to see some, uh, like I said, some early sneak peek at some goodies that Paul over at ABX Comics and Games sent to me. But first, before we get into that, I did get a package from 23 Monch him and all the details for my Instagram, for ABX's Facebook, his YouTube channel, my whatnot, will all be in the description, so check out those links and support this channel. But he does a giveaway where he shows his hauls, he opens up some new cards, he's part of that Saturday night train, and uh, he actually did a community poll where he asked uh, what he would like to draw, and I picked Invincible. And I have something off camera at Spawn. And if you can see the carnage and venom, the Spawn there, the little predator, and then the gunslinger in the human form, uh, human form. Those are all from Monk. I need to get them framed. I'm currently in the process of moving upstairs, but I actually got Invincible, and I voted for Invincible, and I was lucky enough to win. So I'm hyped to grab that from him, and uh, I need to get that framed up. I'm starting a community corner with anything, uh, any art done by the community that's ever been sent to me. So if you have something uh, you'd like to donate or send to me or thinking about sending me, just hit me up in the Instagram DMs. Like I said, you don't have to, but uh, I'd be honored to have something from every artist in the community. And like I said, it's all gonna go to a special little place. So let's get into the new comics from the week. And I'm gonna start kind of talking about my thoughts on the books I read or that I'm reading. I know on Instagram I do kind of a smash or pass kind of a review system of my nightly reads, but I'm going to incorporate it into my new hauls. <clears throat> so again, huge, huge, huge shout out to Paul. I already pre-cut and opened this box because he reached out to me and asked me what size shirt I wore and what size short la shirt Lady Durs wore. And I thought it was just going to be an ABX shirt and uh, I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised that it was early free comic book day stuff. So as you can see, I'm currently rocking the shirt, and he sent a couple of pins. We'll see if those can pick up. Probably not. And then uh, he's got a couple stickers with the van there and some temporary tattoos. And then at the bottom of this package underneath the new books is Lady Durr's shirt. So again, massive thank you to him. I'm actually going to be putting out my own free comic book day. I know a lot of people will be doing those, but everybody will have different books they're interested in and different books that they're going to talk about and uh, might think that you guys might want to pick up. So there's going to be some great books, so make sure you guys stay on the lookout for that. So for the first one, uh, what's nice about the Facebook group is you can see the comics that are coming out. He puts a lot of work and time and effort into uh, uploading these. So it's nice to be able to browse the books I might not know about or covers I might not know about. And it gives me that kind of in vibe comic book shot feel. So I got this uh, IDW. It's a 25 years uh, monthly catalog, but this is actually the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle black, white, and green cover. And uh, you know Marvel's doing their black, white, and blood, but uh, I thought this was cool. You know, I got some Ninja Turtle stuff. I'm not a huge turtle collector, but if there's some dope art or some dope, dope turtle stuff, I'll grab it when I can. Next, again, same situation. I didn't even know about this book until I saw it on the Facebook group, but this is the free Marvel must-haves. And uh, I'm not, I know this is a couple short stories, so I'm, I'm probably just going to flip through it. But I mainly got it because of the logo. I like that Spider-Man Deadpool logo. I like that cover on there. And then, uh, what is it? All the, yeah, their, their Deadpool and Spider-Man logo are actually smashed at the bottom. So I think that's pretty cool. Like I said, I'll probably flip through it. But at the end of the day, for some free books from Marvel or DC or anything, you can never turn those down. So let's get into those new books. And like I said... Big shout out to him, that one's for Lady Durs, so let's get this package out of the way. I like that he always sends them in these little uh, baggies because uh, I've been saving them for like my giveaways and stuff like that. So the first two books on here, like I said, I wanted to dig into this and uh, check out some of the new books, so I already pre-cut open, and I actually read these first two, so we'll talk about them for a second. So the first one I was really excited about, this is Board of Rivals number seven. This is what kicked off the entire Energon universe with Transformers and everything. So right off the rip, this was so hot and so, so popping. Uh, one of my favorite reads. 
but it's definitely slowed down, but in a good way. It's trying to stand on its own two feet, with, especially with this issue and the last couple issues. This is a new arc, so if you haven't been reading it, it's probably a good jumping on point. I'm not sure if it's going to keep tying in with the Energon stuff. We'll have to wait and see. There was a new character introduced and it gave us some backstory of the main characters. Love the artwork, love the direction. I'm pretty sure I gave it like a 7 out of 10 on Instagram. But like I said, curious to see where it's going to go. <clears throat> Next, Ultimate Universe. Anything that says Ultimate on it, you should be buying unless it's like back issues or anything. But anything new Ultimate coming on, especially like with the new series, the Ultimates coming out, make sure you guys are adding it to the poll. Do not sleep on it. Ultimate Spider-Man, fire. Ultimate Black Panther, fire. Ultimate X-Men. So before I uh, get into this book, uh, I'm not a fan of Peach Momoko's art. It's not for me. She's an incredibly talented artist. Like this cover is gorgeous in my opinion, but it's just not something I collect or read. I have read a lot of anime or uh, manga in the past and watched, I, like I said, I'm a big anime head with Dragon Ball Z and a bunch of others. But uh, the story just wasn't for me. I think I gave it like a three or four out of 10. Uh, I am going to get issue number two just to see where it goes, but the biggest thing for me besides the artwork were the black bubbles. It made it really kind of off and uh, hard to read in some places, and I have really good eyesight, so I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about it. Again, I'm not an X-Men fan. I'm not a fan of Peach Mocha's art for it. It's just not for me, but again, that's what's the beauty of this hobby. There's something for everybody. So on to this one. Spider-Punk issue number one is the Spider-Punk arms race. I grabbed the foil basically just to grab it. I am going to grab, uh, read this book, but uh, with all the new Ghost Machine and Spawn and Ultimate stuff, basically for me, if it's not a 9 or a 10 out of 10 must read banger series, it, I don't have room on my pull list. So uh, I grabbed this for the foil. If it's an amazing read, I'll continue it. Other than that, I just plan on grabbing this one issue. On that note, I did grab issue a, uh, the cover A, but this one will be for a giveaway. I like that other one. I thought it was cool. I thought it was trippy. But uh, this one, I'll probably just throw in my giveaway box that, uh, like I said, I'm slowly almost done. I just wanted to have a full giveaway box before I started doing giveaways on my Sunday sesh. That way I wasn't playing catch up and uh, always, you know, trying to re refill it and uh, spending out of pocket and just getting behind on it. So I wanted to get ahead before I started doing giveaways. So like I said, look out for that. That will definitely be in there. Next, King Spawn, issue number 31. Very curious where this is going to go because uh, the next two books are coming on the heels of uh, Spawn 350. So a uh, new artist, new direction, new everything. Uh, I know Brett Booth is tanking over the main art for uh, the main Spawn book. So I'm so hyped for that. And uh, it's a good time to get on Spawn. It's a good time to jump on any of these books because they're all going to be kind of doing their own thing. And there's a lot, a lot going on with Spawn. So Spawn... <clears throat> Uh, issue number 31, very excited to read that. Same thing with this one. Uh, Gunslinger's my guy, but uh, I'm not too much of a fan of his new uh, little mask or whatever. But we'll see, it's growing on me. Uh, I really like this white background. And again, Brett Booth, he was on Gunslinger, which was incredible, some of the best art on the racks, but now he's gonna be on the main Gunslinger, or main Spawn book. And uh, just from seeing some preview pages, the new artist on Gunslinger, I'm not sure who he is, but uh, looks phenomenal as well. Last, we'll wrap it up. You know Lady Durs, she collects uh, and reads uh, Spider-Gwen, starting to kind of get into that fandom more for her. Uh, she's reading Spider-Gwen Smash, and then this book ties into it, which ties into Spider-Gwen going into the main 616 universe. So she's going to have her own ongoing. So I grabbed just the cover A. I thought this was, was a cool cover. Giant Size Spider-Gwen, issue number one. So uh, curious to see what she thinks about it. She's enjoyed the Spider-Gwen Smash series so far. Uh, thinks it's average, and I flipped through it a little bit. Has Dazzler, has uh, kind of some kind of Hulk in it. So we'll see. But yeah, that's my new haul. Like I said, uh, with my hauls, man, I'm always, I always pay for them on Wednesday. Normally get them on Friday or Saturday, but uh, like I said, it just kind of depends on the shipping and uh, USPS. Paul, he's amazing. He gets them out the same day right after I pay, so uh, absolute shout out to him. He's a man. He's a myth. He's a legend. I don't know how he does it all on his own or whatever help he does, but man, just seeing all the posts he makes on Facebook and everything, it's, it's a lot of effort, so big shout out to you. Anybody watching, also a big shout out to you. Make sure you hit the pin video at the at the end. 
If you missed it, it's my fantastic con haul. I show some grail books, I show some key books, I have some con footage, and then at the end, I knocked off one of my goal books for the year, so make sure you guys go check that out. Very exciting books and a lot of keys. Uh, other than that, story time with Durs, I'll drop it tomorrow. Like I said, my channel, I kind of do things around here at my own pace, whatever works for me. So that will be dropping Thursday, and then Friday, positivity and shout outs. Always getting that weekend right. And then we're back live Sunday. Bring some books, come hang out, show off your new haul, or like I said, just come kick it and chat. I appreciate you guys. You guys mean the world. I love you to death. Stay positive, stay legendary, and as always, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Thank you.